Uh, hey, what's going on, Popstar? Uh, I'm John DeLuca. Hey, what's up? I'm Molly Gray. And uh, we are at the premiere for Teen Beach 2. Yeah, we are. Woo-woo! So we're going to play a game. Okay. Love games. You're going to play it, though. So two truths and a lie. I need you guys to come up with two truths and a lie from the set about the movie. Just something that our, so we're going to cut it at, like, you guys say it, and then our viewers figure it out. Okay, um, I got one. Okay. Okay, um... In between shooting, gotta be me, Molly Gray spilled a drink on Maya's dress and set bad production a little while. Is it a truth or a lie? Okay, um, in between takes of gotta be me, um, cast members found a segue and jumped on it and rode around craft services. <laughs> okay, that's good. I got, okay, and then one more. Um, Jordan Fisher's hair in the movie is a wig. Um, that's, that's, that's a lot. Yeah, that's one of them. Anyway. All right. Um, so I feel like I have to figure out now what is the lie. So there's only one lie in there, right? Those are the rules, right? Okay, yeah. <laughs> like, so you follow the rules. Um, I forgot the first one. Jordan's hair is not a wig in it. I mean, if you look to your left, I don't know if you see any long hair. Not cut it? It was a year ago. I'm just saying. What is happening over here? Um, we were just talking about how your hair from the movie was a wig. Oh, yeah. It was so realistic, though. Oh, my. It was actually. Yeah! Dude, we were playing two truths and a lie. Sorry, sorry. Oh, that was good. Wait, so what, I forgot the, the first one was a lie. So, uh, no, that was true. The third one was a lie. The third one was a lie. So, it was true. Well, did spill on her dress. Like, in right before we were about to shoot. Okay, but let me tell you why. Okay, so we played this game on set, and it's called Trust Fall, where you clap twice and you trust fall. So I thought John was right behind me, because he always catches me. Uh, but Maya was, and I don't know how I got the two mixed up, but she was wearing a bright pink dress, and John doesn't wear that. But I thought, oh, it's John. And I clapped twice, and I I fall back and she has coffee on her and uh, she has coffee and like it just went all over her dress and I was just like Wardrobe and, and it was it yeah it was specially made for her so there wasn't a double and I was just like uh yeah but they got it out um he was really good with like baby wipes so I was like see it's all good stress we like had a pause for a second I was like stress like I'm fired I'm fired, I'm fired. True horror story from behind the scenes yeah um, and what do you think the most special thing about this movie is I, you know I, I think that the first movie we achieved something really special with it, you know, and I think the fact that we were able to come back and make a movie that I truly feel, and I don't know how you feel, I think we made an even better movie than the first one, yeah. I think is a really incredible accomplishment. I think, especially, Team Beach 2 is so much more personalized, because we know what the fans like, we know the response we got, so even Ross, he made a, he wrote a song for Team Beach 2 based on his own character, so it's not like he wrote it about his life and just plugged into the movie. Everything is so personalized and more intimate that the fans are really going to be able to connect better, so I think it's, yeah, it's all around super special. 